All this week on 12 News, we've shared the harrowing stories of loss and survival, mourning and healing in the 20 years since the terror attacks on 9-11. Tonight, Team 12's William Pitts sat down with three veterans who said the attacks inspired them to join the United States military. Reflecting on their roles in the 20-year war and the continuing battle too many veterans face back home. Yeah, here's a look at the impact of September 11th. I was a freshman in high school when 9-11 took place. We were in the classroom and seeing the second plane hit, seeing my teacher cry hysterically. I remember my parents picking me up, my dad taking me to the bank to get out cash because he didn't know, nobody knew what was going to happen, what was going on. It was a clear, sunny September day and there was no airplanes in the sky. And at 21 years old, I decided that uh, I wanted to continue my family's legacy and I wanted to join the United States Army. I was 15 at the time of 9-11, turned 16 that summer. It was, I still remember exactly where I was and what I was doing. I was, you know, I think I was in like history or band class. And I mean, they were just like, somebody hit the World Trade Centers with planes. I commissioned from West Point in 2007. I was on my way into school when a friend of mine comes running out to the parking lot to meet me and they ask, what did you hear? Did you see? Did you, did you hear what happened? I actually had never had the thought and it wasn't until that day that it really became an option for me. What can I do in the military that would make me valuable? What, what could I do in whichever branch that would keep others from having to join and maybe not making it home. I was a recon Marine. Simply explained, it's the Marine's answer to SOCOM, our version of the Navy SEALs. How to explain this to someone who's never been. We were spread thin. We were going on long missions, sometimes a week at a time, being outside the wire being out there with the people. And of course, at this point, the biggest danger was IEDs. Progress is hard, right? It's hard, it's very subjective, I think. Of course, I'm biased as well. I'd like for whoever is sitting and watching this to think that from the first time I went there to the second time, years removed, that there was real good being done in between those two times. Right, you do all this train up or all this preparation. You're a guy like me who was in high school when 9-11 happened and you finally you're gonna deploy to Iraq or you're gonna deploy to Afghanistan and you're gonna get a chance to help people. I, um... Yes, we lost people. I lost things in Afghanistan. We... I'm sure the same people that you ask this question to always button up, right? Uh, yeah, we lost folks in multiple tours from over there. These young guys that we buried uh, who died in Afghanistan or Iraq, many times we knew them personally. I definitely do wish I was deployed. As a soldier, you sign up, you go through the training, you do those things with the mindset of going overseas and serving your country and something that we want to do, and something that I know a lot of veterans who didn't deploy uh, wrestle with. And we got there and we saw what was going on with the local people, whether it's Afghanistan or Iraq, it doesn't matter. We saw people that had never seen freedom and democracy and equality and the things that we take for granted as American citizens all the time because we've had them for all of our lives. We saw these people that never had these things. To us, we've been in there so long that it almost just seemed like a thing. And for it to be done, it's relatively surreal on many levels. There's still a fight. The fight now is here, stateside at home. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. What I tell my Legionnaires, fellow veterans, the guys that are still here with us, that there's a burden of responsibility in our lives. I'm not embarrassed to say that I became a statistic when I got out of the Marines, that I was going through struggles and problems that I definitely was not prepared for in the Marine Corps. Yeah, getting through it is something that I'm still working out and that I'll probably be doing for the rest of my life.
we all knew what we were doing. Our service to us was worth it. That's a, an extremely hard thing to, to quantify. What is the worth of one life or many lives? What I can say is that I know that the men that I buried, the men that I carried to their final resting place, I know that they died bravely, gallantly, honorably, serving their country in a cause that they believed in, something that they were proud to be a part of. Because I don't think it was a waste. That's not the right way. My, my friends who never came back home, their lives and their sacrifices matter. But was the mission of bringing democracy to the people of Afghanistan, was that a successful mission? Was it worth it in the end? Not in my opinion, no. I hope that the picture that everyone's sharing around, I hope that that is the last military people that we have to send in and out of that country. But I'm skeptical. I think that it's very fair to say that veterans will kill themselves because of this. That the suicide plague that is ravaging my community is going to be made much worse in the coming weeks and months. Sometimes all they need is somebody to talk to and vent. And you just do the bartender thing and you support them and just your shoulder there for them to lean on. And, and those shared experiences of, yeah, we all deployed and yeah, you know, it sucked while we were there, but we all came back or we all, you know, are there to support each other as we talk about the ones that didn't or the one that came, the ones that came back, you know, not intact. We want to believe that our sacrifice and our time away from our families and all of the blood, the sweat, the tears, that it was all for something, that it was for a greater goal, that we, that we signed up, we raised our right hands, and all of that was for something. One of the best ways to give back to our veterans is by supporting Homes for Troops. The organization builds and donates specially custom homes for post 9-11 veterans. And you can call and donate right now. That number is on your screen, 866-787-6677. Or you can go to a link on our website at 12news.com.